হ্যালো হাউ আর ইউ অল গাইস ডুবিং ওয়েলকাম টু অসমিয়া পাক ঘর অন ইন্ডিয়া ফুড নেটওয়ার্ক বাট টুডে বিফোর আই গোয়িং টু স্টার্ট আই ওয়ান্ট টু থ্যাঙ্ক অল অফ ইউ ফর ইউর ওয়ান্ডারফুল অ্যান্ড দ্য লাভলি কমেন্ট দ্যাট কিপস মি গোয়িং এভরি ডে সো টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু শেয়ার উইথ ইউ এ ভেরি সিম্পল কাটলেট রেসিপি অর এ চপ রেসিপি নোন এজ কলদি লর চপ অর ইন বেঙ্গল ইস নোন এজ এ মোচার চপ সো ওয়েলকাম টু মাই কিচেন For this mochar chop or a cutlet, I am going to introduce a few ingredients and main ingredients required to make this. So I am going to use some boiled banana flowers that you get in the market. You have to clean it and boil for say around 10 minutes or so. A little salt. Potato that also boiled. Some garlic and some ginger and onion. Apart from this, we're going to use some oil and some peanuts. For that, we'll have to my kitchen as we cook together. For this caldilor cutlet, we need a few ingredients. I'll introduce them to you. The main ingredient is your banana flour. This is a boiled banana flour with some salt in it. I've taken one boiled potato. So I'll be now showing you how to mash this and then make a masala uh, of this. So to one cup of boiled uh, banana flour, I have used one potato. So I'm going to mash them with this. So roughly mash them. Going to put some salt, pinch of halli. So we we'll mix them up. So I have mixed our banana flour with the potato now. We are going to uh, fry them up along with the other masalas. I have already put the uh, gas to uh, heat our pan. So I am going to add some oil. I am using olive oil. You can use any uh, vegetable oil if you wish to. Ginger. Garlic. Half a teaspoon should be fine. For both. I love a little bit of peanuts. I'm going to add some peanuts. I love this sweet crunch that you get in some uh, in your bite. In goes our coriander powder, the jeera powder. Our peanuts seem to have uh, nicely roasted along with the other masalas. We're going to add the mash of potato and banana flour uh, you can add green chilies or uh, red chili powder we have to uh, ensure uh, that the banana leaf doesn't have any uh, water in it we just drying it the entire masala before we let it cool down and then fry the chops yeah this is fine if we could see they have completely dried so our uh, mixture has cooled down meanwhile i made a batter a besan ka batter using some salt and turmeric you can see how patla this is we're going to fry our ticket You can see because I have rubbed oil there is no residue left. I'm going to dip it in that uh besan ka batter. Yes. In bowl. This dip it to the other side. looks golden brown already so our chop is evenly brown on both the sides time to take them out you can see how lovely golden brown they look Is it it? Finally, 
our mochar chops or caldular cutlets are ready. They look so nice, appetizing. You can see how nice and brown they look from all sides. I'm sure it's going to be a very nice sweet end endings to your cup of chai. And if you like today's recipe, subscribe to your one and only India Food Network.